Hi all, uh, now that the chess ball masses are over, we are returning to the Women's Speed Chess Championship. It's a long event, taken over a month to complete, and earlier I showed you a few qualifying matches. Uh, the second Grand Prix has just finished, but let me explain to you how this uh, event is actually set up. So we had uh, the qualifiers I showed earlier were done, and 12 women from these qualifiers, they, um, they were added to 9 other seeded players for, for this event including the best players in women's chess, like Ho Yifan, Yu Van Yan, Katrin Lango, Anna Musichuk, Irina Krush, and many others. A wild card was given to Antonetta Stefanova, uh, making it 22 players in total. Uh, four Grand Prix will be played, and each time six players will not play, uh, making it a knockout uh, with 16 players. The further you come in these knockouts, the more points you score. And after all three, uh, all four Grand Prix are done, uh, the f in the top two of the final standings will play a super final to see who will be the women speed chess champion. The first Grand Prix was won by Anna Ushenina, uh, defeating Valentina Konina in the final with seven to four. And in the second Grand Prix, these ladies met again in the final and I will show you one of these games. So we have Valentina Gonina with the white pieces and Anna Ushinina with the black pieces. So it, it looks like these women will battle it all the way to the super final but first let's get it started. So Valentina opens with d4, we have d5, c4, takes on c4 so we have the queen's gambit accepted Knight to f3, knight to f6, e3, e6, bishop takes on c4, and now c5 striking in the center, castles by white, and now takes and takes on d4. We have bishop to e7, and now knight to c3. We have castles by black, and bishop to g5 now. We have a6 by black, queen to e2, and b5. All, all played many times before. We have bishop to d3 now and bishop to uh, b7. So uh, black is still a bit behind on developing but he has uh, this nice diagonal for his bishop. Uh, white has this uh, this isolated pawn. Uh, you know, will it be um, a strength later on, or will it be a weakness of white? We will have to wait and see. Uh, Black still needs to develop uh, his knight, um, and uh, and still needs to connect his rooks. But uh, the position is uh, is quite even. So we have rook uh, a to d1 now, and knight b to d7. With bishop drops back to b1, perhaps with uh, looking at this h7 square, maybe queen to d3, queen to c2, uh, takes, who knows, there, there will be options. We have knight to e5 now, and takes and takes on e7, and now rook to e1. So black has a nice knight now on uh, on d5, there's still a threat of, a, of queen to d3 and then uh, for a checkmate, but uh, the second white will play something like this. Uh, Black can easily respond by uh, taking the knight to f6 or playing uh, playing g6. We have takes on c3 and takes on c3 and now knight to f6. So for the moment, uh, black of uh, white piece uh, pawns are connected, but he has a uh, an weakened a pawn. So we have knight to f6, knight to e5, and now queen to c7. So the the bishop is now uh, unleashed um, the uh, queen is eyeing this as well maybe uh, black has some ideas of uh, of, uh, of striking uh, making an attack on the king side let's see so rook to c1 now and we have rook f to d8 we have queen coming now to uh, to d3 just eyeing this h7 square and um, anna played g6 to uh, to uh, like a prophylactic move, um, but it weakens the f6 uh, uh, knight, and there was no reason to do this yet. But uh, when this knight is ever attacked or has to move, uh, for example, if you don't do something like this, but you play something like uh, 
uh, well, rook to rook to c8, then maybe you can have something like uh, you can. Well, if you're quite bold, maybe uh, g4, g5. But um, yeah, there will be uh, um, before all this can happen. Anna played g6, and now we have queen to h3, shifting the attention with uh, maybe ideas of uh, of queen to h6 and and repositioning the might the knight to uh, g5 again to attack that h7 square with bishop to d5 centralizing uh, uh, the bishop and now following the plan queen to uh, to h6 with rook to c8 and now h3 queen to a4 a5 and now a nice rook lift going to e3 so um yeah, I think uh, uh, Valentin's idea is now to bring the rook to g3, create some extra pressure here, uh, con uh, continue with uh, with the h pawn. So it's uh, with uh, with the bishop uh, looking at it as well. Um, you know, you're looking at sacrifices and you're looking at a very uh, scary position uh, for black. So uh, this queen um, now on uh, on a5, it has to go back. And it can go back in only one way, well, in a couple of ways. So the fastest would be to a3 and to f8. And this is exactly what Anna played. So queen to a3, rook to g3 now. And we have queen to f8. Queen drops back to g5, attacking the knight. And now knight to e5, forking uh, both, both uh, queen and rook. We have takes and takes on e4. And now knight to g4 with ideas of uh, creating uh, some checks and maybe some other attacks if bishop draws back to a8 don't want to anna wants to keep this pressure on uh, on this uh, on this g2 pawn and uh, maybe in the future take an attack here but it does um uh, well the 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 other side of this move is it does, it cannot help anymore in the defense of uh, of the king side so uh, another option would have been maybe bishop to f5, just trying to help out on the defense here. Uh, but uh, bishop to a8, we have uh, queen to e5 now, and queen to g7. We have knight to f6 with check, and king to h8 now. And now rook to g4, with a simple plan of rook to h4 and, and uh, attacking uh, h7 or grabbing the pawn with check. So black prevents it, plays h5, and now still rook to h4, maybe with ideas of playing a, a g4 attacking, or maybe with uh, with the, the, some attacks with the knights are possible. So with queen to h6 now, um, but unfortunately for uh, Anna uh, Ushenina, this uh, completely blundered the game. Um, so feel free to. Um, to take a few seconds and try to find the winning combination of moves for Valentina. So we can all see that um, that there is a problem here for Black. Um, so how do you how do you make use of this uh, this uh, this check? Um, Valentina played uh, knight to h5. Uh, we have. Uh, uh, king to g8, knight to f6 check, knight to g7, and now you are free to pick up uh, pick up the queen. Uh, king takes excess. We have knight g4, king to g7, and queen to g4. And it was in this position that Anna Ushinina resigned the game with 10 seconds on the clock. So. Whatever you do, um, you're getting mated. So, uh, for example, if if you play uh, king to g8, uh, you'll have because if you don't play king to g8, if you play something else like bishop to g7, you just get uh, mated in uh, in two. So you have to move your king. So king to uh, uh, king to g8, uh, queen f6, just preventing the queen from uh, the king from escaping. Um, f5. Uh, to make an escape square, queen takes g6, king f6, queen f6, king g8, queen takes e6, king h8, 
queen to h6, king h8. So we have some uh, some checks here, and uh, uh, just uh, gobbling up all uh, all the pawns. Queen to g5, king f8. Well, I'm uh, not sure if all these checks were necessary, but uh, in the end, uh, we'll have uh, the winning combination um, like this, and uh, it's uh, checkmate after queen to e6. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, so that's one way it, it could uh, it could go. Um, um, well, you have to bring the rook into the game, so you have to pick up the pawns first. So, but after queen h6 it was all over what uh, anna could have done is uh, simply uh, defend the, the threat with rook to d5 um, i mean uh, you're still uh, giving away um, uh, material here but uh, at least uh, you're uh, for now you're you're defended um, this position this bishop now looks very strong there is no more uh, attacking potential here really or maybe with g4 but um, you'll just uh, trade the queens and well, it's um, it's quite kind of a drawer's uh, drawer's position, and uh, that's what Anna should have played. But instead, she played um, queen to h6, uh, losing the game on the spot. So um, Grand Prix three and four uh, will be coming soon. I will try to um, well to show you a few matches of these as well, and of course, I will also cover uh, the super final later this month. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this game. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe and comment. And I will hope to see you again in the next one.